I don't know who this is, okay? Egg hey, brother, God bless you. Congratulations. I don't know who you are. Positivity you. Praying for you, bro. Positivity out the window. Who who decided this mother? Who the f decided this Her loss? Utopia? Finally have a look in the mirror moment and say, oh, oh, it's not about us. No, adults are out, nigga. Yeah, it's a good one. Niggas got pocket, pocket uh, handkerchiefs in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Niggas got fly on. Musicians, go, musicians good, are out. Yeah, real execs, business people, you little fucks. Shut up for a change. I'm so sick of these niggas. <laughs> we only get to do this once a year. We're, listen, <laughs> we got to rush behind Killer Mike. Killer Mike won. <laughs> yeah, we got to let yeah. these niggas know what the we really think he won and ain't sit down with a single streamer little mother <laughs> word, that part. Not, not one of you niggas not one. niggas like who yeah him we knew who he was yeah we respect you yo oh, broke the whole console oh, he smashed everything yo we feel that yo, we feel that but niggas is getting dressed and bringing women out tonight all you incels and the bass player <laughs> yeah <laughs> <sighs> Every single time somebody starts something, it don't even be me. It be them. They talk about me, so let's talk about them. This is what we have here is a case of old nigga syndrome, my nigga. Listen to me. I want to voice my opinion. I'm going to voice my opinion. 100%, bro. You feel what I'm saying? And that's some people problem. I don't ever let the young niggas flourish. The young niggas think utopia is fire. Let the young niggas think utopia is fire. And y'all not being able to comprehend is because it's just simply a new, a new wave of niggas, bro. It is. Shout out, shout out to Killer Mike. You feel what I'm saying? Um, bro, but but look, if I think this should have won that, okay, let it win. Nigga, I'm in my room just talking, bro. You feel me? It's always the young niggas this, the young niggas that, and you say it don't come off at hating, but bro, that come on, dog. I want to invite the cool streamers. I don't know nothing about streamer. I want to invite Kai out. Thank you for mm -hmm. saying my name. Kai, I yeah. yeah, I know your guy. I know your guy and weird, but listen, I want to come to the room. I want to bring you a broom because Atlanta still <laughs> won. You feel? Yeah. Me? <laughs> however, it, however it go, young player, just know I, I, I rock with you two, and I'm cheering for all of us. You know yeah, what I mean? Because right, I, right. I think that. From a cultural standpoint, this is the cult, this is the center of the black world culturally. Mm -hmm. And um, however, uh, whoever's winning, we winning. Yeah. So you know, I just want to just tell him that, like, yeah, I just I, blame it on the Gen Z when I when I watch the video. I ain't blaming it on nothing. Like I love y'all. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. if, if, if you if you know if you ever get treated bad, I'm, I'm right there for you. You know what I mean? So I know how I go though. You know what I'm saying? When I, when I liked Luke and the Two Line Crew, my mama was more in the salt and pepper. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I get it, but I listen to both bands. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna just say the young people out there. It ain't nothing wrong with expanding. It ain't nothing wrong with trying something else. It ain't nothing wrong, you know, with, with just giving, you know, having, you don't have to be always in the crowd. You know what I mean? Like, I, I was a, a kid in the South. I listened to Ball and G. I listened to UGK when he was with Black Sabbath. And you have to become culturally rich, too. Mm. Like, I know the people that you watch and you like and that stream and you agree with them and they agree with you. That's a good feeling to be a part of that. But bring something else to the club. Be the person to say, let me turn you on to this. If you love Andre 3000, you should know who Portishead is. Well, why? Because Portishead affected Andre 3000 in 95, 96 in a way that radically changed the way he approached music. So you should always want to know what's the source of the source. Teach him. You know what I mean? So so I'm just saying, give, give uh, a big bro shot. If you don't rock with it, don't rock with it. But, um, you know, I won. And I'm going to win again. I'm going <laughs> to win again. So a lot of people are saying that they didn't watch the Grammys. But this year... You best believe a lot of people were watching the Grammys. They had record-breaking viewers this year, and Killer Mike, he actually won three Grammys. There have been several viral clips of Jay-Z and Killer Mike from this award show. The reason why Jay-Z went viral was because he was mad that Beyonce didn't win the album of the year. And the reason why Killer Mike went viral was because he was actually arrested after he won his three awards. So you best believe this award show 
was action packed. And now the Joe Buttons and Killer Mike is going at Kaiser Nut and they're saying that you don't know anything about real hip hop. So now Kaiser Nut, Joey Buttons, and Killer Mike, now they're going viral because they're beefing with each other. And you can look at it like this. This is your personal opinion. You don't know who Killer Mike is, but at the end of the day, you should know who that is because he's a legend. And if you don't know who that is, you can't really say that you're a hip hop fan. And also, how can you say that you want Utopia to win if you haven't even watched Killer Mike since you said you don't know who that is? But Killer Mike, he did an interview on a radio station and he said that when I was young, I was ignorant as well. So I don't blame the guy for not knowing who I am. Sometimes it's not what you say, it's rather how you say it. But I understand Joe as well because Joe is saying that y'all can always be saying that we're all heads and we don't matter no more because we laid the foundation of this hip hop game. And uh, just I think it's just how he said it. That's why it went viral and that's why Kaiser not got angry at Joe Buttons because he said it in an angry way. And we gotta realize that the younger generation is a little bit more sensitive. But we all know Joe Budden, he likes real hip hop. He doesn't like the Travis Scott, the NBA Young Boys. He likes real hip hop, like Styles P and music like that. And me, I'm the same. I also like only real hip hop. I don't like the Travis Scotts and NBA Young Boys. So this is my opinion when it comes to this. We should all just agree to disagree. It's okay if you don't agree with the winner of the award, but you should keep it respectful because saying that Travis Scott is trash or that Killer Mike is trash, that's not being respectful. And I think that's the reason why they're beefing right now because both sides are saying that the rap you like is trash and the rap I like is good. So we can just agree to disagree. That is what I think about this.